who are going to be the guys that kind of step to the forefront as leaders to step in, guys, for like Doug and, and for Kellen? Who, who are the guys that you guys are looking to to say, we, we need more out of you now? You know, I think uh, definitely the senior class. And uh, there's 22, to, I, I don't know the exact number, I can say 22 or 23, but uh, th th there's a good amount of us that are capable of stepping in and uh, who, who will be called on to, to, to lead the team. And, you know, uh, Replace those guys will be a very tough job, and I think uh, we're gonna have many competitions around the through throughout the positions this fall camp, and it should make our team better because of it. I wouldn't really think of it as us being there yet. Uh, we're still working. Uh, we get a lot of respect from you know the previous teams before us. So like this year, we're kind of just trying to build our own respect and trying to be up there and you know in that talk. But we're still not there yet. But it's definitely an honor, you know for people to actually bring up our name every once in a while. The quarterbacks and, and Joe and, and Nick, um, Coach Pete said, you know, you're going to have a battle. Um, what do you like about each one of those guys that if that guy was ends up being the guy that is the new quarterback at Boise State, you say, yeah, I like this guy because of X. What makes each one of them? You know, I think uh, starting with Joe, uh, he, he's, he's most experienced out of all four of the guys. Uh, he, he, he's a uh, been able to learn under Kellen for the last couple of years and under our coaching staff and he knows the offense very well and I think he can throw the ball to any point in the field and, and he can even scramble around some too and I think with Nick he's a very athletic uh, you know young young guy and you know his legs can get him out of trouble a lot of the time and he's a very fast guy who I mean that can be utilized in our offense and I think both are very capable, as, as well as Jimmy and uh, Grant as well. So I, I think it should be a very uh, tight battle. On, on the outside, and, and Matt Miller, another special player, 60-plus right. um, catches last year. I mean, he's a sure target that you're going to find, um, certainly in the Mountain West Conference and maybe the nation. Um, your thoughts on Matt? Matt, he, he's a very, very special player. Uh, he's very physical. I mean, you can probably ask Jamar about this because he goes against him, but uh, he always just fighting for the ball. and fighting for extra yards and he has great hands and you know he, he, he's still a young player and he's still getting better and you know he's very willing to get better that's why he's uh, he's so special. Defensive backfield would seem to me to be a strength with the talent uh, and the experience that you guys uh, return. Uh, do you agree with that and to what makes the, the defensive backfield kind of click what makes you guys such a, a good cohesive unit? Um, I think we have a lot of good groups. A lot of people have played for us within our D-line and our linebacker positions, even on offense, you know, from our um, running backs and our receivers and O-line. We have, we have a lot of people that have played, so I wouldn't really look at it as, as us being the true strength on, on the uh, defensive side. But I think one thing that just gets us going is just trying to be the best. We, we pride ourselves on trying to be the best secondary, so we try to work the hardest so we can make plays on Saturdays. You guys are no stranger to the big stage to open the season, and you guys have flourished in that role, what sort of challenges present in going to a place like East Lansing and playing a top 10 team like Michigan State? Um, well, Michigan State's a great team. You see them on film, they, they have great defense, great offense, great coaches. So I think it's going to be a, good, a, a big challenge, but it's going to be a great game. And um, we're going to try to, you know, put all the, put all the, part, uh, put, put all the parts together this fall and see what we come up with on the 31st. How do you guys get up for those games year in and year out and do what you do to start the season that kind of sets the tone for where you guys head? I think uh, just be, being a member of the Boys State team, we've always, we've come here with like a chip on our shoulder and we want to, you know, we, we really want to play those those big time programs and, and be on that same stage with them. And when we get the opportunity, we really get up for the game and our coaches do a great job preparing us. And we have great practices leading up to the games. and. You know, uh, we're just ready to go by the time uh, uh, the game rolls around and we execute during the game. So, you know, uh, just uh, those big time games, everyone at Boise State really gets excited for them. And we, we, that's one of the main reasons we all came here.